cute dress. Too tight. I could use a new summer skirt. I'm gonna chop this off. Turn it into a lightweight, quick and easy summer skirt. I'll show you how. Cool. Coming up. It's summertime, I'm cleaning out my closet. I love this dress and I actually wore it as a skirt. You roll the band down and it's a real comfy little cute skirt. But then this was always uncomfortable and I just, why add width to my waist? So I thought this summer, I'm gonna chop this all off and turn it in to just a short, simple summer skirt. It'll be quick and easy. I just chop it off and measure it from the bottom, put my rollover elastic on it, and wear it. I would like to like have to throw this away because I wore it too much. <laughs> so here's a quick clip of this when I was trying it on. See what I was gonna do with it. So this is how long this skirt was. It's kind of a mid-calf, and then it's a dress, so it has this whole band up here. And I used to just wear it, the band down like this and put a tank top over like that and kind of liked it, but it feels like uh, a little sausagey here and it's kind of at a funny length. So I thought, I'm just gonna chop this off, make it a short flowy skirt, real simple summer casual skirt, comfortable in the heat. Yeah, update this one a little bit. I think the way to tackle this hem is after I found out where I want to put it, I actually have put a, one of my favorite skirts on here. I put it at the bottom and then put where the elastic goes right here. So I determined, I think this is at 23, it was 22 and a half, but I'm going to do 23. Yeah, I'm going to do 23 inches up from the bottom hem. And I'm just going to mark the whole thing around at 23 because the stripes can play tricks on your eyes. Because, <laughs> and they're, I don't really know when garments are made, you never know, like their grain lines or all that. So I'm just gonna go all the way around. See, it's going into that weird stripe and up. And that way, most likely will turn out even. Most likely, <laughs> no guarantees. So I've been measuring 23 up here and it's all over the place. <laughs> Look at these marks right here. But I took the side seams and the 23s are right on there. And I love how they got these little stripes all connected right here. That was so cool. Um, so I think what I'm gonna have to do, I think I guess it just kind of got wonky when they hemmed it here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just blend. I'm gonna go here and then just give myself a cut line and just blend these in as best I can. That's what happens with knits. They're, uh, they're just hard to, you know, they don't really stay on the grain and they're, you know, they just get wonky. So. This one's looking pretty good. My inside one is, again, looking a little weird, but I'm just gonna blend it and yeah, it goes this way. <laughs> so basically, I was gonna cut right on there. I probably cut half inch above. And yeah, this one's going. It's because it's such a weird A-line shape. Look at the difference on that one. I'll take it from the side seam right here, because I know the side seams are correct, and just blend it up like that. I'd like to do maybe, but it's be too hard. I'm gonna cut it single. Um, I'd like to cut double, but there's no guarantee. With, it's just too hard to get these all straight. So um, yeah, I think, right, oh, I gotta cut into this dress that's so painful to do. <laughs> I spent a lot of money on this dress, a lot. it was years ago, so it's okay, but it just uh, it was one of my favorite dresses for some reason. I don't really like stripes, so um, <laughs> maybe 
I, I don't know. I just like the way this whole pat, this double stripe here and then single, I just thought was pretty. And I love the color for some reason too. It's just, it's not black. <laughs> That's probably why. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna cut a half an inch above that and um, see if I uh, just have that little extra for the rollover. Although I don't, I probably should just cut it right on the line. I don't know, because yeah, 23 inches is probably long enough for sure. All right, yeah, I think I'll just cut it right on the line. So, oh, here we go. Oh. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. <laughs> single, single layer right into that line. And for the best. I always have a couple inches over because most, most of my skirts are probably around 21, 22 inches. And all I have to do is put my rollover elastic on it, but this is actually pretty wide. That might be quite the stretch. The rollover elastic works really good when it's close to your waist. And I don't want to do a casing or anything either because it adds more bulk. This one's the confused line one. I think it's going to work. Huh, okay, now what to do with that? I don't know. Okay, there is my skirt. It's pretty wide. Oof, that's gonna be tough. It's really gonna crinkle in there. Hmm. I don't really wanna take it in either. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Okay, so what I need to do now is to find the centers right here. That one put a big mark, center-ish, I guess, right there. And then these, once you cut these, they start rolling. Okay, and the other one's right about here. Okay, now I need to cut this elastic, put it around my waist. This is that double fold, uh, one inch fold over elastic. And how it works is you just sandwich in the fabric like that and then you stretch it and you zigzag sew it. I have a whole video on how to use this elastic. And I'll be sure to put a link below in case you wanna get some of this elastic. It comes in black and white. And I've dyed it before too. So but I th I'm thinking the dye might have hurt the stretch. Um, I'm not really sure. <laughs> right. Okay, and then so I put this around my waist and um, added about an inch to that. And now I'm going to sew the center back right here. Just do a center back seam there. All right, so I'm just gonna go sew this, then I will attach that. That's gonna be, that's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun one. Have the center seam done. I'm just gonna roll that into there. A lot of times I like to trim this in little V's too so it doesn't stick out like that, thin it out. Now I need to mark the half. Mark that on the right side of the elastic. The right side of this elastic also has a fuzzy feel to it and then this is kind of elastic-y and then this is fuzzy. Then put but now it marks on the quarters right here, a long one, and on this one. Also, what I want to do too is find the front and the back, and <laughs> I think that'll be the back because it's a little more crooked there, so I'm going to be the front. Because what I do is I put the elastic back, that center back seam here, in the back right there on the center also when you put this elastic on too you got to make sure this elastic is not you're not doing it this way because then it can't scoop around that way <laughs> it's harder i always make sure when i do elastic to do that now i'm going to just sandwich that in like that 
And then I'm going to find the next, the quarter, or the side seam, put it on the quarter, and then pin that. So I just pin it in quarters. I might, because this is so long, have to pin more, because this has to fit like that. That's going to be quite a stretch. But I like to do that at the sewing machine, too, because then too many pins in here, and then you... They just fall out anyway, and then they, it gets dangerous. So now find the half. Doo, doo, doo. Where to go? Right there. Make sure I don't get this tangled around. Right here. Put a pin. And then the quarter, the side seam. Make sure it's not twisted. If this gets twisted while you're sewing it, it's a nightmare. <laughs> okay, make sure. Ooh, it's gonna be a stretch. Okay, I'm gonna take this to the sewing machine and zigzag this on. Okay, let's give this a try. Take that off first. Start at the center back. Make sure that's all sandwiched in there. Okay, and put this on zigzag, um, make it move kind of fast, and then I want to do like a six width, um, almost the widest width. And put the needle down, get it started. Yeah, just get it started over that hump. And then I gotta stretch this all the way. And then I think I'm gonna cup that in there. So also make sure it doesn't roll inside there, right here, and just sandwich it in. That raw edge should be touching the edge right there, and then I'm just gonna pull. Zigzag. Right there, there we go. Ooh, that's a big stretch. <laughs> uh, I probably could have made this elastic a little looser, but, um, so I don't want it to fall down. That would be bad. Okay, zigzag. Do the side seam. Take that pin out. And do this to each quarter. It's always good to check your bobbin too. You don't want to run out of a bobbin doing this. <laughs> but this is coming out good. Zigzag. Okay, next one. the last last part see this part's peeking out here don't cause me any trouble here try this on. Wow, that looks pretty good. It's not even that gathery. Wow. Okay, now to try this on. All right, I have a new skirt and wow, it's not even tight on here. It's nice and comfortable. I love the stripes. I think it came out pretty even because I went around it and yeah, sides might be. It's just because I got a little fat that picks this up. <laughs> But wow, new skirt. I hope I wear this this summer. When it gets really hot here in North Carolina, it's just nice to have these simple skirts that aren't binding around and all that kind of stuff. So that's what I like to live in in August. Yes, and this, oh, new skirt. Okay, looks like I'm gonna need another skirt hanger. <laughs> I have one less dress and one skirt. This turned out great. I love the amount of gathers in here. It wasn't too much like I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh my gosh. But uh, a little harder to tuck that in when there's that much gather, but it turned out really good. The elastic um, cupped over really well. The uh, zigzag went on well. Yeah, I'm glad I finally did this. Go take a look in your closet. What's in there that you can just spend 20, 30 minutes on, an hour, update it, and then it's such a good feeling to have a new piece from your old piece.
get some wear out of it, right? Well, I hope you like so if I inspired you, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next video.